how to video by Marcus. After editing your 360 video in a 360 format in Premiere Pro and uploading to YouTube, did you notice the default point of view was not ideal for the viewer? This video will cover how to change the default point of view in Premiere Pro using the offset effect. So here's a 360 video that I captured with a GoPro Max brought into Premiere Pro. First thing I'm going to want to do is check the VR mode. So here we have the plus symbol. This is toggle VR video display. If you don't have that enabled, make sure to check that. So I'll select OK. Or actually just drag it down. There we have the VR. So this is the default point of view for this camera setting, which is not even pointing at me when I'm talking. So to change this, we're going to want to like change the offset. Uh, so we're going to go into effects. And do a search for the word offset. And here we have distort offset. So we'll want to apply that to the clip. So here we have the offset feature. So we want to change this number. So let's say just randomly we change it to 4,000. We're kind of pointing towards the back corner. Change it to 5,000. We're pointing to me. If I want to put myself in the center, we could pick a number such as 5,450, which is what I've already kind of determined is about center. Um, so by applying this offset effect in this video clip, now I'm going to be somewhat in the center of the frame in the default position that the viewer would see. They can still scroll around in 360 mode. But this will be the default position. Where this can be important is in a program like on your TV set or your TiVo. It's like you can't scroll around 360 videos. It's a static view. So this would be the only view the person can see. They can't navigate around the 360 video. So now we can see where that is going to be. Let's take a look at this other clip. So like after I load, uploaded this video to YouTube for the first time, that was the view for the entire video when watched from my TV set. Not very interesting. I kind of walk by occasionally in this video. So that wasn't good. So we need to reply, to do an offset applied to that clip as well. Um, so on this one, I've kind of like played around with the number putting again, just I was just putting in random numbers to see where it kind of puts the thing and then picking a default view that would have more interest to the viewer. I decided on this one around 1600. That points the viewer right to the beginning of the video where they're going to be looking at me in the front of the car washing the car. It's a more interesting view than the default value, which was pointing towards the neighbor's car. Um, so that's the offset effect. So that's all you need to do, apply the offset. Now you could control this through keyframing. We could go ahead and put a keyframe and then at this point change the offset to a different value. Let's say, I don't know, 3800 uh, and put it back there and set another keyframe. So now if I was watching this on my TV set, oops, I probably should have gone somewhere in the middle. So now the video will slowly move throughout the video. So you could control like the keyframing of where the viewer looks on the 360 field. They would still have the option of moving about. So that's how you can use the offset effect in Premiere Pro to control what the default perspective is of the viewer.